look at them guys, I'll tell you what. Man, that hive's nasty. Very nasty. That thing is... That thing is mean and nasty looking as Maxine, you know? Wow, I'm, they're chasing me over here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys. I'll tell you. <clears throat> the stuff I've got to put up with here lately, I'll tell you, it's really something. Really something. And I've been so darn stressed out here last couple of days. Man, all the drama that's going on in my life, it's unbelievable. Ooh, Miss Daisy, I was out there in the shop the other day. Well, I'll tell you about that in a second, but <clears throat> Jim called me. You know, the black man I've known forever, you know. We worked together back in the early 70s. It's 91 now. Old one-eyed Jim. Just to give you an example of the size of the dimensions we're talking here. This guy, You guys all know Wayne Johnson, The Rock, you know. Yeah, the big movie star. Well, Jim, the size of him, could literally pick up The Rock and throw him right through the side of the barn door. Right through the side of the barn. Yeah. That's, that's the size of what we're talking about here with old big Jim. Anyway, he's been calling me every morning. Every morning. Yeah, I seen him pick up man one time. Well, man, was he was about the size of the rock. Yeah, he was, he was he was Jim's helper back in the day. And I was a pipeline foreman. I had to go around. I, I called myself foreman. I was actually like a babysitter, you know, more or less. Unbelievable. I had a whole team of guys that I had to babysit, okay? Let's put it that way. But I was over there, heard this, it sounded like a bunch of pit bulls fighting in the trench over there, right? Go over there, and here's Big Jim. He had picked up man the size of the rock and bounced him off the side of the ditch wall. And Jim's standing over him going like this. Now, Jim was the foreman of that little crew he had. He was the boss of that little crew, but then I was kind of over that whole deal, all of them. Right, so I walked over. There. I said, "Fellas, <clears throat> I'm, you know, we're burning daylight here, and you guys got that much extra energy to bounce each other off the sidewalls. You guys want to tighten this thing up a little bit and get going here?" I said, "I'm getting my ass chewed on on a daily basis from the from the, the main office of why this job ain't getting done. You guys are over here playing hiney grab." <clears throat> So, you know, that's kind of how it went back in the day. So that's the size of Jim and the guy we're talking about here. Anyway, he calls me up every day now, crying on my shoulder. Every day, crying on my shoulder. <clears throat> yeah, he, he says, where's my, where's, my, where's my stimulus check? Where's my stimulus check? I said, Jim, you know, you, you're talking to the wrong guy. I said, you need to be calling up your creepy, sleepy creepy sleepy guy hair sniffer than what the one you put on the payroll i didn't put him on the payroll you did ask him what the hold up is i said my guy was going to give you two grand this guy's going to give you a little little peanut check i said but you you put him you put him on the payroll i didn't so you got to live with that guy he was just going on and on with that guy and just telling me he got to have his stimulus check Poor Jim. I said, Jim, I said, we're, none of us are going to get stimulated for long. I said, I just pulled up the gas pump the other day, and, and the freaking gas prices are going crazy. I said, the next thing that's going to go crazy is my sugar. i got to buy a lot of sugar. I'm just going into queen breeding season here. i got to get, buy a lot of sugar. And, and now the price of that's going up because of the because the, the fuel prices are going up. Somebody, they don't under, seem to understand. I said, you Democrats don't seem to understand. When gasoline goes up, everything goes up. He said, yeah, he's going to put us all in electric cars. I said, he said, I'm already running electric. I said, what do you mean? He's got one of them little old four-wheel, you've seen them in the grocery stores, these old farts running around on them electric carts. That's what Jim's got now. He said he can go eight miles in it with that thing. 
I said, Jim, you get out the end of eight miles, and that thing's going to run out of juice, and there you're going to sit. I said, I said, don't be, don't be calling me up, telling me to come and rescue you now. So you can get your cart loaded up in the back of my truck and all that. Unbelievable. So that's the stuff we got to get go through and all that. But anyway, I haven't been sleeping good, guys, for the last couple nights. I was in the barn there the other day, and the wife. Uh, Miss Daisy, she calls me on the phone. She didn't want to come out of the house because these these Maxine, ugly Maxine witches over here are all mean. She didn't want to get stung with that. So anyway, uh, anyway, uh, she says, uh, "Are you sitting down?" I said, "No, I'm standing up." What 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 now? She said, "I just found out that." Uh, uh, Kim Kardashian and, and Kanye West are finally getting divorced. God, God, I just, I just dropped my tools, laid my head on the, on the workbench, and I started bawling my eyes out. I just, I was in so much stress when I heard that. I couldn't believe. I haven't slept in two nights, guys, thinking about that, you know. But, uh, cause I, you know, I didn't, I didn't see that one coming, guys. I really didn't. I didn't see that one coming. I just been really stressed out over it and I'll hopefully I'll get over it you know hopefully I'll get over it I told Miss Daisy try not to you know stress out too much on that now don't don't think too much about that all we can do is get out here and work these bees guys get our mind off of these stressful situations you know speaking of working man I'll tell you what guys They're bringing in the mail, guys. They're bringing in the mail. All right, what are we gonna? What do you want to do today, guys? Besides stressing out over Kardashians, um, what do you want to do? I know what we can do. See that box? Look at them. They're all around me. This is from Nasty Maxine over here. It's crazy. I hope that thing tames down a bit. Don't. I'm gonna do some more head pinching. I'm telling you guys. Oh, I got a box sitting here, and I got five frames in it, so they, they need to come out. They need to come out, and they need to go in a hive over here that we're going to steal some resource. So we're going to set up a cell builder. It's that time of year in sunny Florida, and look at here, guys. Look what's happening. Orange blossoms. They're just fixing to blow. I got this tree and that tree right over there. They're just fixing to explode. I've got uh, I got a tree over here, uh, cherry laurel. It's blooming. Look how big my look how big this uh, pepper is. This thing's going to be 20 feet in the air next season. So I'm getting a lot of goodies in the neighborhood. But yeah, this thing's budding out. She's budding out orange blossoms and it's gonna explode and you talk about it's still got a few fruit on it see up there this is a wild stock orange that came popped up from I used to raise some wild hogs in here I had a pen in here and uh, I was throwing all kind of stuff and this is a result this tree is a result of those wild pigs and look how deadly this thing is look at these spikes I mean I busted these off because these things were big old nasty spike. I took a machete and knocked some of that off of there. Yeah, so what we'll do is get to rob some resources. Let's load this thing up. I'm going to put two boxes together here. I'm going to put one more on top because the frame I pull out, I'm going to move up top. And then we will have, uh, we'll have four frames of brood down here. I'll move one up above it. And uh, they, they can uh, start making queens. So we'll set this up, wait four days, come back. We'll set it up like we're going to do a walk away. Put a food feeder on top like we're going to do a walk away. We'll come back here and harvest all the cells that they've made in here. And we'll harvest that royal jelly. That way we can prime our cups. Then the same day, at the end of four days when I do that, I will drop in my cell bar 
with 15 cups on them let them polish them for 24 hours i'll come back and steal it out take into the grafting room i'll go over to another hive over here grab some frames of, of eggs out of one of my nice calm hives and we'll graft into that and we'll start making queens it's time to start getting her done guys we got to start making queens because things are blooming spring is here and we need to kick ass and take names all right let's get her done okay guys this is the old martin hive michigan martin hive you can see the brood pattern on that thing absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic this is kind of stuff we want to put in our cell builder and uh because these will be a hatch and these will be all nurse bees coming out so this is the kind of action we want to get in a cell builder i'm going to try to find five of these uh look just like this and one nice big fat pollen frame we'll put up above but we'll have we'll have tons of bees in this thing see Let's make sure we don't steal our queen here. I don't want to put her over in the cell builder. We'll, we'll be backing up with that deal, you know. Yeah, there's a nice frame right there. We'll take that. Yeah, here's another nice one out of that same colony. Lots of eggs in here. So they'll be making a lot of queen cells here for us to rob for royal jelly these bees seem to be very laid back too that's a nice trait you know we could actually use this colony as a breeder I don't see my queen here at all lots of drones we're getting lots of drones here so yeah guys it's time in Florida to start rock and rolling here with these bee queen making action Gonna get a little cool tonight, but that's okay. We got plenty of bees on here to keep this thing jacked up. We can make several rounds of queens out of this thing. Boy, the bees are pumping up, guys. They're looking good. I come over to this hive here, the second one over. I stole, uh, I stole, uh, what two frames out of that one and uh, this one's got a lot of brood but what I like about it look at all the pollen in there lots of pollen so this is a frame we can put in right next to our graft so they have lots of pollen to work <clears throat> to feed to feed you know to feed these queens I said I've got a huge band of pollen all through here honey up here of course we're feeding too remember that I've not seen a queen cell yet. Swarming cell, that's good. Won't be long though. You let these bees go long, guys, and you're gonna be, you got a friggin' bomb going off now. Be careful. Yeah, I'm, Rob, I'm gonna rob a second one from here. We'll go to another hive and rob something else. I don't wanna knock them down too far. There's your queen right there. So we're not we're not going to take this frame. I'm gonna put her back and steal this one. Isn't that a beauty? Plenty of eggs out in here. Look at that, guys. This is kicking ass, I'm telling you now. Okay, guys, I robbed a couple form, uh, frames of resources here, and I put two frame brand new ones in with Plasticell on them. And I rolled extra wax on them. And I don't know. I don't think I'm liking my tall earth, guys. 
the stuff's getting spongy already these were dipped in tall earth actually actually that was that recycled lumber right here so that that lumber was probably compromised so I really can't blame my tall earth preservative on that this this was out of that salvage lumber and it's already getting compromised oh well live and learn okay guys I've dumped jump down here to this third hive here and check this out these are all queens I made last season yeah and these are these girls here are all gonna get sold just as soon as we start rocking and rolling I've got some wind coming in here now winds picking up we got some rain coming this afternoon and uh, so yeah it's gonna get cold tonight but with the many bees in this box here they'll keep all this brew nice and comfy this is an excellent frame excellent I mean there's some missed shots here but not much I call this a good queen myself this is gonna go in our cell builder I think we're gonna rob maybe one or two more to go in and then we're gonna have it set up okay guys I robbed a couple frames out of here and uh, actually three frames and uh, one had a nice big fat queen cell on it and a ton of drone cells and I, I robbed another one with some brood on it we'll set it up over here in my two framer <clears throat> as i find these swarm cells that's what i'll do with them that's what we'll do with them set them up over here close this entrance up here's what I got lots of drone but look at that big old fat queen cell right there and then I gave them this one too out of that same colony there's a lot of seal brood here there's pollen seal brood so this should be a fairly good makeup for this colony here so yeah we'll seal this one up I'll leave them trapped I'll put a bottle of sugar water on them and I won't feed them I'll, I'll feed them right away and I'll keep them locked up for three days yeah guys make sure you keep your uh, bees get bees fed while you're making your queens I just put one hole in these nukes just one hole keep a little T pin like this on handy and you can melt these in take a torch take a T pin heat this up you can melt your melt your hole in there but the bees will propolis that shut make you a little make you a little five gallon uh, tote like this five gallon Lowe's bucket, put some fittings in it, put a little ball valve on it, works great. All I do to make my syrup up is I take one of these buckets I take a dollar store bucket like this little dollar store bucket like this and I fill it all the way up with sugar to about here and then I dump that in my in my five gallon bucket that five gallon bucket I'll sit down on another bucket like that one there so it's a convenient working height I'll dump this one in then I'll go in the house and get some uh, hot hottest water I get off the tap and that's what I dump in and then I just mix it by hand in my sink here I mix it up in there that way when I get done mixing it with my arm I can rinse off keep a wooden plug in in your tank here 
because if you're in Florida especially you got the carpenter ants I call them bull ants they'll come in they'll be all up in there and then you open your valve up and you get a, just a load of, of uh, ants coming out that's not fun okay guys that's it for now uh, sorry I you know I got a little emotional there with that Kanye and all that thing but you know I didn't see it coming guys I really didn't so uh but anyway, I'm over it now. I'm feeling better. And um, hopefully you guys learned a little something today. And yeah, swarm cells are happening, guys. I'm telling you, I'm going to go in probably. Uh, I'm going to start peeking around again probably in four days on these other hives. Because I'm sure I'm going to get more swarm cells. I'll just keep robbing, robbing them out putting them in these two framers. So we can start making more queens. Them, them swarm cells make excellent queens. So don't forget that trick. I'll see you on the next one, guys. See ya.